you know that when you walk through the door here that there's a committed team of health care workers who are going to take care of you in, with the highest quality care possible. What you might not know and what you should know is that an integral part of the team here are researchers running critical experiments that will one day in a place like this be put into practice in your clinical visit. Dr. Cynthia Morton is director of the BRI, the Biomedical Research Institute at Brigham and Women's Hospital. Dr. Barbara Beerer is the Senior Vice President of Research at BWH. Under her leadership, researchers are joining forces to achieve even greater results. It is rare in a medical institution such as this to have that network of investigators so committed to the common whole and to the common good. There are probably 800 or so investigators. Many of them are also physicians. It's not one or the other, but people spend part of their time in the laboratory or doing clinical research part of their time caring for patients. It's a perfect example of what's called translational medicine. Doctors are taking discoveries they've made in the lab and applying them to patient care in the form of new treatments and therapies. In turn, questions that arise at the bedside go back to the lab in a circular search for more answers and better treatments. Exciting work in translational medicine is being done with cancer, vitamin D, and most recently with risk factors for heart disease. One of the highlights that recently is the work of Dr. Paul Ritker in the Jupiter trial in which he showed that the uh, C-reactive protein is a risk uh, factor independent of cholesterol as well as other for cardiovascular events. Another exciting area of research is personalized medicine. We're spending a significant amount of time understanding the genetic biology which will allow individualized treatment. Some of this research is applied to clinical practice in the cytogenetics lab at the Shapiro Center, led by Dr. Cynthia Morton. Cytogenetics is a very special place where we have the privilege to look down the microscope at the essence of life. We have the opportunity to precisely identify the abnormality that occurs in a particular type of tumor. That will allow us to define that disease and predict which therapy would be the optimal therapy. The day may not be too far off when, armed with our genetic blueprint, we can take strategic measures to stave off disease. I sort of think about the day when you leave the hospital as a baby, you'll have your genome sequence and we'll be able to know specific things about what diseases you would be susceptible to. So let's think of your DNA sequence as a hand of cards that you've been dealt. What we want to do is to help you make optimal choices to play those cards.